Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn everything about XML. And if you have never understood or never known about XML, do not worry. In this session, I'm going to go from scratch and we will learn everything step by step. Let us look at this message. I have several friends. Alex, Mary, Rachel are my friends. Anna is my best friend. Now this way of communication will work if two people are talking to each other. However, if two machines or two applications have to talk to each other or exchange data, this way or this type of formatting or communication may not work. So we need a more structured, a more formatted way and we need to exchange data using some common rules and syntax. Let us now try to convert this message into a more formatted and structured way. I have created a tag called friends list and a tag comes inside conical brackets and then I have also created a end tag for friends list. So here is the start tag and here is the end tag. Now inside this I am creating one more tag called friend. I have a start friend tag and a end friend tag and the end tag has a forward slash and the same name as the start tag and inside this I am creating a tag for name and then I have given the value for the friend that is name value Alex. In the same way I will create data for one more friend Mary and then I will create one more tag or data for one more friend Rachel. So I have created data for three friends. Now I will create a tag for best friend a start tag and a end tag and here I am giving the name as Anna. So here you can see this is a more formatted and a more structured way and this way of communication and data exchange can be used to communicate between applications and this is a valid XML. So XML stands for extensible markup language and here it is called markup because we use marks or we use tags as we have seen in our example and then the tags are not limited and are not predefined like in HTML. You can use any tags and these can be extended like we have used friend list, friends, name etc. So tags are extensible and therefore we call it as extensible markup language. Now we know that XML can be used for data exchange and communication between two applications. It can be a client and server applications and it is used to store and transport data and the rules and specifications of XML comes from W3C that is World Wide Web Consortium and XML is not dependent on any platform or technology so you can use two applications that are built over different platforms and different technology stack and they can communicate using XML and it is both human and machine readable like JSON as we have seen in the JSON session XML can also be readable by both humans and machines so here let me first show you a quick demo and then we will move further I will create a very quick XML you can create any file and give it a extension as .xml so here I am on my windows and I am creating a new text document and I will say this is a example and the extension I am going to give is xml so here I have created a file example.xml now I can open this into any editor you can use any editor that can work with xml I am using notepad++ you can use visual studio code if you are on Mac or even on Windows you can use that or if you do not have anything you can still use a simple notepad or any simple editor and we will do the formatting later. So here I am creating a tag called friends list and this is a start tag I also have to create an end tag so the end tag will start with a forward slash and here I will again say friends list and here I am getting auto suggestion because this is using XML. If you are not getting auto suggestion that is fine we will do formatting later and here I will create another tag inside friends list that is a friend tag and then of course I have to give a end tag for friend and then inside this I will create another tag called name and the end tag for name and then inside this I will give the value that is the name of the friend Alex 
and I can now copy this and paste it again and here I will change this to Mary and then one more friend I will say Rachel and then I will copy this again and here I will change this to best friend so I have created a tag for best friend here and of course I should be having a end tag as well so now we have a XML and now if you want to check if it is a valid XML or if you want to format your XML you can just copy your XML and go online and check for some XML formatter tools so you will get a lot of tools online that can format our XML and you can actually create a tree view so let me show you this I will go to one of these and I will also provide all these links in the description or the notes of this video so you can always refer it from there so here we have one XML formatter I will paste my XML here and then I will say format XML you can see this one we have other tools here where you can just give your XML or your XML document and you can see the formatted version so here you can see it has given me a formatted XML if I go here and again I give my XML and say format so it will format and show me the formatted XML and here I can also if I just make some mistake here I am removing the end tag for friends so you can see I have removed the end tag and now if I say format XML you can see it has given a different format but let me show you some other better tools if I say format and beautify I am getting this if I remove let us say the end tag here and say format and beautify or you can see here I am getting a warning here unclosed XML attribute or if I say here I will give back the friend tag and now if I do format and beautify again now this is fine I can say XML tree so you can see in a tree view we have three friends and we have one best friend here and you can see the names of the friends so you can see a tree view here the same you can see here I can say beautify and format or I can see a tree view so these are the tools you can use and you can format your XML now if we talk about XML validation when we talk about validation we are validating the syntax and the structure of our XML message so we check that the XML is well formed that is it satisfies all the basic syntax and rules and conditions and then we can also check our XML against some predefined schema which can be a DTD that is document type definition or can be a XST called XML schema definition in most of the cases the creators or the developers of the XML will provide you this schema and you will have to check your XML against this schema it will contain the structure of the XML how it should be structured what should be the tags what is mandatory what is not mandatory what should be the data type inside the tags all this will be here so kind of a grammar and content check is done here most of the cases today we use XST now in case you do not have a XST or a DTD or any schema we can also do the reverse that is we can use our XML and can generate a schema out of it let us see that I'm going to take my XML and copy and here I'm going to search for XML schema generator and you can see we have a lot of online XML schema generators or XML to XST converters and XML to DTD converters all this can be used and if I go to any one of these let me say this I can paste my XML and I can select the XML design and then say generate XST then we have this one again I can just paste my XML and say generate schema and you can see this is the XST here you can see we have the version we have some title here then you can see all the elements or tags so we should be having a friend list element it is of complex type because it has other elements inside this then we have 
this tag and then name should be uh, of type string all this you can see in a XST if I go here this one I can select do I want a DTD or a XST and I can just generate here so it will give me the XST or the DTD as I need to I can again say DTD here and say generate it gives me the DTD here so this is how you can do XML validation and also check your XML against a schema if you look at a Wikipedia definition of XML it says it is a markup language that defines a set of rules for encoding documents in a format that is both human and machine readable and I hope now you can understand this and I hope this session was very useful now you can go ahead and start your journey with XML I will meet you in the next session thank you for watching